okay hey there how are you doing this is kali from uh, tech fans yes as you already know we have installed the pixel experience rom on our redmi note 11 space or space n so in this video we will see the full in-depth review of uh, this pixel experience i have been using this for past couple of days and i have run few tests so let's take an in-depth look So first and foremost, I have to tell that Android 13 ROMs are now much more stable than before and I would say this one doesn't change that uh, statement that I have said. This is the latest official uh, Pixel Experience OS running on Android 13 with the latest security patch of November 5th and I'm pretty much sure that it will provide the security patch of December after 5th December or something. So currently it is running with the uh, November 5th security patch with the 4.19.15 size per uh, kernel the build date is 15th uh, november you already know what boot animation it will have so let's get straight into the business when i was using i made a lot of uh, test cases so here are uh, uh, those things nearly some 10 over there so first we'll start with the drm so drm is the uh, certification that you need in order to stream the uh, hd content or full hd or uh, ultra hd content on uh, the your device from the netflix or amazon prime or something uh, this one supports wide one uh, l1 so you can stream the hd full hd content which is 1080p on this device i don't have the any subscription to exactly check it but as per the l l1 certification app drm version is uh, drm certification is l1 so you will be able to see the uh, full hd content on this device uh, second uh, the cpu cpu throttling test it also known as the stress test so i have run the uh, cpu throttling test for straight 15 minutes and this is what uh, i have i got it uh, for uh, after the results so this stayed almost uh, 88 uh, percentage of uh, the uh, cpu all the time and this is really really great and it is holding up really well this is basically because of the uh, multi kernel that we had and power efficient ones so this is really good and when i when the uh, cpu traveling test was uh, uh, going i was constantly checking the back side any heating issue or something happening it is uh, not that much uh, of heat or something even it is not even a bomb it is normally it was uh, doing its work very really well it's holding up really well that's what i want to say it and the next thing is the Geekbench. So this is one of the benchmarking tool uh, that most probably everyone uses. So uh, I have run the CPU test and the computational test uh, two times. And the average score is uh, the single core performance is 375 and the multi core is 1450 or something. And for the uh, computational one, we have uh, the score around 437 or something as an average. Uh, this is not the high, even uh, it is less than the uh, Realme Pad or any other devices like uh, MI A2, but it has some machine learning things and other calculation um, algorithms that will calculate much faster than the old previous generation CPU. So this buffer, this one, um, it's forgettable. And here you can see the 435 uh, in the bottom, which is from another uh, custom ROM previous one, I believe. So both or less the code, uh, the number doesn't change much as that OS also has this uh, same kernel and this one also same kernel. So yeah, this is the score of uh, Geekbench. And now we'll see about the uh, 3D mark. So this is one of the graphical uh, oriented uh, testing one. And I got, I have run this one and I got the score of Vulcan 236 uh, with 1.4 FPS. Is it good? Uh, I don't tell it is good. Even my MA2 performed better than this. But this is not about uh, something about the OS that is reducing it. It is more of like uh, the CPU that we have, uh, which is uh, 680. Next thing is uh, the CPU, sorry, uh, camera to API, which I have, uh, which I know it is a uh, level three. Uh, so you can directly install the Gcam and other stuffs, which works uh, perfectly fine on this uh, device. 
and the next thing is the safety net so this safety net is important in order to use the multiple banking apps and payment apps and i have run it and it passed very well and all four cases has been um, succeeded so you will be able to use the payment apps and other uh, things also the security is uh, the encryption is uh, storage encryption uh, storage uh, is uh, fully encrypted and uh, here you can see that so the storage is uh, fully encrypted so this will be some uh, some little bit hectic uh, when switching between apps but uh, as we already have the uh, recovery like orange fox that can do the decryption this will be piece of cake at least uh, yeah so next thing that i would like to uh, mention is the uh, network speed uh, so this one uh, i've been uh, using the geo sim card and the network was uh, fine and it support it also supports the carrier aggregation i did have uh, the net net monster and i was uh, checking it so one time uh, when i was uh, using the internet uh, it it did connected to two uh, bands uh, 2300 and 2300 so it supports the carrier aggregation as I, I, I would like to say the network speed is like 30 to 40 mbps which is uh, constant that we have seen earlier and some user have constantly were asking like uh, whether bro whether it supports uh, wi-fi calling or not and it's yes somewhat it supports uh, wi-fi calling but it was not showing anything in this uh, option in the top bar and i was uh, skeptical about that uh, to confirm him but uh, eventually uh, when i was calling a person it was showing this uh, wi-fi symbol which means uh, i can do the wi-fi calling so so here you can see the wi-fi symbol so it is doing the wi-fi calling so wi-fi calling is actually working and how you can enable it well you can go to the settings wi-fi calling and here you need to go inside the network that i'm sure and then sim card geo and then inside this you have the wi-fi calling so i have already enabled the call over wi-fi option so yeah you need to enable this in order to get that uh, functionality it is working and the second thing is day-to-day uh, -day performance and i would say it is good and there is no glitches and swings between multiple uh, uh, things are actually smooth uh, here you can see and it also in the background it is uh, actually holding well uh, in terms of retaining the applications So I didn't face the, any issue uh, in terms of uh, doing multitasking. It is uh, actually great, uh, holding well. So yeah, that's what about the uh, multitasking and the day-to-day -day performance related things. Let's talk about uh, graphical oriented things like uh, gaming. So I have played uh, BGMA for 30 minutes and the gameplay is fine. Uh, you are having two options. Uh, one is uh, low graphics and the HD graphics. It's not even supporting HD graphics, low and medium. In the low graphics, uh, you can extend till the high frame rate, uh, which plays like uh, 35 to 40. And in HD graphics, it will be medium level gra uh, FPS, which is like 25 to 30. Uh, in other uh, ROMs like uh, I would say for example Evaluation X or any MIV SR or something you will get an option to uh, enable the 90 FPS exclusive 90 FPS uh, mode which in the low graphics you can extend till the 90 FPS uh, option so it will actually look good even though the graphics is a little bit garbage but here um, that 90 fps option is not there so even though the gaming is fine decent you can still play but you will have to sacrifice some um, additional benefits or have options so that is what about the uh, bgma gaming 
and now we'll talk about the battery so battery backup wise i was uh, getting around uh, seven to nine hours of uh, screen on time uh, it is same like every other uh, custom room there isn't much changes in terms of charging the 33 watt adapter took like uh, 70 minutes to 90 minutes uh, so that is what i would say uh, it is not uh, i would say fast charging or something but uh, it is charging uh, fine for me that timing is fine if you want actual fast charging or something better use mui and what are all the good things that I have to uh, speak about uh, this one if you ask me. Well, it has face unlock. Uh, that is one of the major advantage. Second, it has the MI sound enhancer uh, where you can tweak within the sounds and the audio output and headphone uh, connectivity, everything. Uh, the quality will be uh, 10 times better compared to even iPhone. Here we have that uh, MI sound enhancer. So. You can enable that and here i have set a default option even you can set some other options as per your need but you have that option and um, you know, it is the official one uh, fixel experience so it is popular so you will get a uh, timely ot update every month or uh, monthly twice sometimes thrice also you have a toggle to uh, toggle the display refresh rate from 60 to 90 i always using the uh, 90 fps so OE 90 fps screen you have to use it in 60 so i am continuously using and the screen uh, um, screen on time that i have mentioned uh, that uh, nine, uh, 7 to 9 hours it is for 90 fps if you could uh, reduce it to 60 fps or something it is, may increase it lot and you also have the uh, tape to wake uh, tap to wake up function so i can just tap and uh, in the face unlock it will automatically unlock the device and uh, yeah so that option is there you no need to use every time the finger uh, this one uh, power on button and this tap to wake turn of the screen is not there so that is one of the hiccup and what is bad about uh, this one in my opinion pixel experience itself uh, not my ideal option always because i mostly using this one for the customization and this one uh, lacks uh, as always some people price the pixel experience pixel experience and uh, i have seen on video like you will get clean clean what is there in the clean i i don't even understand the stock itself is a clean okay so when compared to other custom rooms i mostly don't choose pixel experience that is my opinion you may be like uh, can tell it like google uh, boot animation you are getting and uh, you can tell it is running in pixels one google's OS, something like that you can tell but still other custom roms rice dried i have used i liked it a lot evaluation x great all time and the list goes on like dev fest and some other uh, boot ledger or something so all the having that unique uh, things uh, this one is mostly as uh, how would i say uh, generic uh, one like mostly aosp so pixel experience uh, no customization that is one of the major thing if you ask me to compare it with uh, any one if i don't have to compare it with other custom roms it is great custom rom i would say yeah if i don't have any option Second thing is uh, the important thing that I use is the network monitor indicator. So whenever I download the stuff, I know some people tell uh, you can use speed test. No, why you are using uh, that uh, kind of things. Speed test uses some sort of server which will have the high capacity of load. So the speed whichever the internet is giving it is different and whatever you are getting from the uh, different uh, websites, their own server speed is different. So this speed. Uh, network monitor indicator will help uh, to find if any issues are there with particular server or particular website that we are downloading doing the downloading the content so network monitor indicator is important for me so it is not there and there is no dedicated game mode or a, a advanced restart option to check the fps how much it is going or something and if you want to install any other <coughs> magis or something you need to enable developer option and you need to reboot to recovery or else you need to turn off the device and hold the volume up and down to get into the uh, recovery option so those are some of the things and some uh, another thing that i have faced is uh, bluetooth issue uh, so when i have uh, connected this uh, bluetooth one uh, in my uh, device um, it is connected well and when i am playing something uh, i am not able to hear anything in the headphone i thought something is wrong with this custom room and 
it is maybe due to i have to install the latest miui and install this one but uh, i actually found the so uh, problem that uh, this has a dual uh, connectivity support so it was already connected to my iphone and uh, that had some glitches or something so i just disconnected that and restarted the device and yesterday eventually when i was uh, using this one uh, i found that it is uh, working in this device or this custom room so there is no issue with the bluetooth so yeah if you ask me whether i can you can go ahead with and if you want a stable one for long term or something you can definitely go ahead but you will still uh, miss a lot of fruitful things about the custom room so that's what about uh, this video so if you if you enjoyed it or liked it and if you find something useful please leave a like and subscribe to this channel to be a part of the tech fanciers and to find this similar minded people and to join our community you can visit the link which appears here or this side if i'm seeing right this okay so in the corner it will be uh, coming so from where you can click the link and join in our telegram group so we have a lot of people here there we don't have a lot of people but if you come means it will be uh, it will be fulfilled so yeah thanks for watching code moto